hi. So, how was your week? I want to hear all about it. I want to hear about your ups, your downs, your ins and outs. I want to be here to support you. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below so that I can support you. I really am super excited to be able to be here with you guys today. Let's get into how this week was. So, this week, okay. I've had a heck of a time. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm like premenopausal or what. But I had my period for eight days. It finally went away completely on day nine. Day 10, all of a sudden it came back. Um, full on clotting and everything. So that's a little nerve wracking. I just turned 42, not this Monday, but last Monday that passed. So that means on Tuesday, my period turned 33 years old. So I don't know what exactly is going on. I just know that my hormones are all over the place and I'm unsure what exactly is happening to my body, but uh, too bad for me because I have a goal. We are going to go on vacation in either the first week of January or the second week, it's the week starting of the 19th in February. So possibly both. We're not sure yet. I do have vacation granted for both of those weeks. So we'll see. Um, David doesn't have vacation yet. He has to ask for it. But we're hoping that we'll get it for both of us and we'll go from there. But I want to travel in a way that doesn't make me nervous or anxious to be on a plane at my size. So we have a goal. We have a few months and we are going to get serious and do what we got to do. I did begin a program. Well, I enrolled in a program at work that is, sorry, I couldn't find my scissors, so I found a plastic butter knife to cut this open. I enrolled in a program at work, which is called, I forgot what it's called. Hold please. Let's see. It's called Eat Right Now. It's a program that my work pays for us to enroll in so that we can learn better mindsets around food. And part of that program is that they offer a scale. Oh, we'll pick that up later. And this scale, uh-oh. So this is a withings scale called the body pro i guess i don't know free free 99 from that program for work so i will use it the other one that i have i think is called a body trace um which was a different program that my work offered before where holy mackerel this is big um look how giant it is the giant scale um So this scale has, when your scale has to have instructions, that's a little nerve wracking. Hold on, because it also has, hold on. Hold. My scale has patitas. Why? I don't know, but there's four of them. I guess we'll find out together. But it has cell cellular connectivity. So basically this says body pro, your smart scale is ready to install. Turn on body pro, pull the tab inserted in the battery cover underneath the scale to turn it on. Wait for the scale to start up. Don't move the scale during the process. It can take up to 15 minutes. Um, step on your scale. Body pro will automatically share your results with your care team. It's a little scary. But we are going to do what we got to do because I am not going to hinder my first chance at a family vacation. Oh, there it is. Turning on. Look at that. It's turning on. Hold, please, because I got to put it down. 
No joke, this scale is giant. It has rules. It says, if you move your scale, wait for two seconds before stepping on it. Step on the scale with clean, bare feet. Wear as little clothing as possible or no clothes at all. Do not bend your knees when weighing yourself. To ensure a highly accurate measurement, arrows may appear on your screen to help you distribute your weight evenly on the scale surface. If one or more arrows appear on the corners of the scale display, simply shift your weight in the opposite direction of the scales until they disappear. Um, try to weigh yourself at the same time of each day. For example, make it a habit to step on the morning before you eat or drink anything. When you step off the scale, it will power off automatically. Which means I have to film it when it's on. So we are gonna have the added benefit of the weight of the camera. Get to know your body pro. You can change the units of measure on the body scale from kilogram to, oh. I probably should have made sure that it was set properly because I got to put it in pounds. Um, along with the weight, see your body mass index and the local weather forecast to help plan your day while waiting. <laughs> it literally says that, look. <laughs> now that's funny. Okay, so I don't know that I have to read all of that, but let's find out. Oh, I wonder. Does it automatically get sent over? Oh, okay. So that's today. I don't know how you're supposed to see the weather when it automatically shuts off. So, I mean, it was funny that it even offered, but let's go from there. So how are you feeling today? Honestly, anxious, sad. Oh, it only lets you pick one. So let's pick anxious. Next. Now that you've checked in with yourself, let's take a brief moment to do a mindfulness practice together. It will only take a few seconds. My phone is really, really, really needing to be replaced because it truly just is acting up. Even if you don't feel better immediately, check-ins are brief moments of mindfulness that help you build awareness and learn how to learn how your mind works. Keep it going. Now that I know that I don't have to like try to film it because it'll show on the, the, the app, we'll go from there. Or 12.2 minus 391.7. Okay, so over the last, so just over three months, it's been 113 days since my last weigh-in and in 113 days which is a lot but in three months this is how much we lost so we've lost 20.5 pounds i honestly don't know if i'm happy about that or if i'm a, like concerned <laughs> i don't really know because the truth is that that's like over three months great i will take any loss i was really truly concerned that i didn't even lose anything so i'm glad that i did lose something but 20 pounds in three months doesn't sound like something i should be proud of but i'm i'm gonna take it 20.5 pounds Okay, you guys, so we need to have a goal. A goal between now and the beginning of the year, which how many days is left in this year? We only have 77 days. In 77 days, which is barely over two months. So in that time, I have to figure out how much I wanna lose. I think that realistically, 30 pounds is a, is a pretty decent goal to have. And that's what I'm going to shoot for. I'm going to shoot for 30 pounds within the next 77 days. We can do it. I can do it. Oh, I can do it. Please tell me you believe in me. Because <laughs> right about now, I don't even know. But 
I want to believe in me and I hope you believe in me because I believe in you. I know that if you had that goal, we can, you could rock it out. We will rock it out together. So I hope you guys have a great week. And please remember to like this video because this is very stressful for me.